Ran Film, Ran Lewin, Transel. Chaos or Turmoil is a 1985 epic action drama film directed, edited, and co-written by Akira Kurosawa. The plot derives from William Shakespeare's King Lear and includes segments based on legends of the daimyo Mori Mahinari. The film stars Tetsuya Nakadai as Haitora Ikemanji, an aging Sengoku period warlord who decides to abdicate as ruler in favor of his three sons. The film is a Japanese-French venture produced by Harold Ace, Nippon Herald Films and Greenwich Film Productions. Production planning went through a long period of preparation. Kurosawa conceived the idea of Ran in the mid 1970s, when he read about Matanari who was famous for having three highly loyal sons. Kurosawa devised a plot in which the sons become antagonists of their father. Although the film became heavily inspired by Shakespeare's play King Lear, Kurosawa began using it only after he had started preparations for Ran. Following these preparations, Kurosawa filmed Dursu Uzala in 1975 followed by Cage Musha. Ran was Kurosawa's third encounter with Shakespeare during his career. In 1957, Kurosawa directed Throne of Blood Jai Jukeo Cheng, Human Asu Jo, Spiderweb Castle based on Shakespeare's Macbeth. In 1960, he directed the film The Bad Sleep Well Yi Nu Hadoyaku Mayan Ru, Warui Yatsu Hodo Yaku Nimiru. Despite the changes in setting and language, all three films have received critical acclaim. As Kurosawa's last epic, Ran has often been cited as among his finest achievements and is widely regarded as one of the greatest films ever made. With a budget of $11 million, it was the most expensive Japanese film produced up to that time. Ran was previewed on May 31, 1985, at the Tokyo International Film Festival before its release on June 1, 1985, in Japan. The film was hailed for its powerful images and use of color. Costume designer Emmy Wada won an Academy Award for Best Costume Design for her work on Ran. The distinctive film score, inspired by Gustav Mahler, was composed by Toru Takemitsu. Plot Hai Tora Ikemanji, a powerful though now elderly warlord, decides to divide his kingdom among his three sons, Taro, Jairo, and Sabiro. Taro, the eldest, will receive the prestigious first castle and become leader of the Ikemanji clan, while Jairo and Sabiro will be given the second and third castles. Haitora is to retain the title of Great Lord and Jairo and Sabiro are to support Taro. Haitora begins to lecture his sons about the importance of unity using three arrows. He selects one arrow out of a quiver and shows how easy it is to snap in half, but three arrows bundled together are much more durable. Sabiro, however, breaks all three arrows with his knee and calls the lecture foolish. He points out that Haitora is foolish if he expects his sons to be loyal to him, reminding him that even Haitora had previously used the most ruthless methods to attain power. Haitora hears the comments as being subversive, and when his servant Tango comes to Saburo's defense, he exiles both men. Fujimaki, a visiting warlord who had witnessed these events, agrees with Saburo's frankness and invites him to take his daughter's hand in marriage. Following the division of Haitora's lands between his remaining two sons, Taro's wife Lady Ki begins to urge her husband to usurp control of the entire Ikemanji clan. She is still bitter about the loss of her family. Haitora's army had previously killed her family after a land dispute and then assimilated the family's lands. When Taro demands Haitora renounce his title of Great Lord, Haitora then storms out of the castle and travels to Gyro's castle, only to discover that Gyro is only interested in using Haitora as a titular pawn. Haitora and his retinue then leave Gyro's castle, as well without any clear destination. Eventually Tango appears with provisions but to no avail. Tango then tells Haitora of Taro's new decree, death to whoever aids his father. At last Haitora takes refuge in the third castle abandoned after Saburo's forces followed their lord into exile. Tango does not follow him. Kayawami, the court fool, 
then jokes about Hyde Taurus predicament, only to be thrown out of the third castle. Shortly thereafter, Hyde Tora and his samurai retinue are besieged militarily by Taro and Gyro's combined forces. As Taro and Gyro's forces storm the castle, Taro is killed by a bullet fired by Gyro's general, Kurgain. In a short but violent siege, Hitora's defenders are slaughtered and the third castle is destroyed by fire. Hytora is allowed to survive though without any supplies or bodyguards, and he succumbs to madness after wandering away from the decimated castle. Hytora is discovered wandering in the wilderness by Kayawami and Tango, who are still loyal to him, and stay to assist Hytora. In his madness, Hytora is haunted by horrific visions of the people he destroyed in his quest for power. They take refuge in a peasant's home only to discover Tsurumaru had been blinded and left impoverished after Hytora took over his land and killed his father, a rival lord. With Taro dead, Juro becomes the great lord of the Ikemanji clan, enabling him to move into the first castle. Upon Jiro's return from battle, Lady Ki, seemingly unfazed by Taro's death, manipulates Jiro into having an affair with her, and undermines Jiro's power from behind his throne. He demands that Gyro kill Lady Sue and marry her instead. Gyro orders Kurigane to do the deed, but he refuses, seeing through Keed's perfidy. Kurigane then warns Sue and Surumaru to flee. Tango, still watching over High Tora with Kayawami, encounters Aikoma and Agira, who had once served as spies for Gyro, betraying High Tora and Taro only to be exiled. Before he kills them both for their treason, Ikoma tells him that Gyro is considering sending assassins after Hytora. Alarmed, Tango rides off to alert Saburo. Hytora becomes even more insane and runs off into a volcanic plain with a frantic Kayawami in pursuit. Saburo's army crosses back into Gyro's territory to find him. News also reaches Gyro that two rival lords allied to Saburo Ayabe and Fujimaki have also entered the territory, and Gyro hastily mobilizes his army. At the field of battle, the two brothers accept a truce, but Saburo becomes alarmed when Kayawami arrives to tell of his father's descent into madness. Saburo goes with Kayawami to rescue his father and takes ten warriors with him. Gyro sends several gunners to follow Saburo, offering a bounty for whoever kills him and Hytora. Lady Keed has already convinced Gyro to send another group of assassins to hunt down Su and Surumaru. Gyro then further orders an attack on Saburo's much smaller force, and Saburo's army retreats into the woods. Gyro attempts to pursue Saburo's army in the forest but is stopped short with significant losses due to the deadly muskets wielded by Saburo's infantry. In the middle of the battle a messenger arrives with news that the rival warlord, Ayabe, is marching on the first castle, forcing Gyro's army to hastily retreat. Saburo finds Hytora in the volcanic plain, Hytora partially recovers his sanity, and begins repairing his relationship with Saburo. However, one of the snipers, Gyro, had sent after Saburo's small group shoots and kills Saburo. Overcome with grief, Hytora dies. Fujimaki and his army arrive from their victory only to witness Tango and Kayawami lamenting the death of father and son. Meanwhile, Surumaru and Su arrive at the ruins of a destroyed castle, but inadvertently leave behind the flute that Su previously gave Surumaru when he was banished. She gives a picture of a mid Buddha to him for company while she attempts to retrieve the missing flute. It is when she returns to Tsurumaru's hovel to retrieve it that she is ambushed and killed by Gyro's assassins. At the same time, Ayabe's army pursues Gyro's army to the first castle and commences a siege. When Kurigain hears that Lady Sue has been murdered by one of Gyro's men, he confronts Keed. She admits her perfidy and her plots to exact revenge against Hytora and the Ikemanji clan for having destroyed her family years before. Enraged, Kurigane kills Keed. Gyro, Kurigane, and all Gyro's men subsequently die in the battle with Ayabe's army that follows. 
a solemn funeral procession is held for Saburo and Haitora. Meanwhile, left alone in the castle ruins, Surumaru trips, dropping the Amida Buddha image Su had given to him. The film ends with a distance shot of Tsurumaru, blind and alone silhouetted against the castle's landscape atop the ruins. Cast Tatsuya Nakadai as a Kimanji Haitora Yuenzai Zuhu, the film's equivalent to King Lear. Akira Tero as a Kimanji Tero Takatora Yuenzai Tailang Zayohu, Haitora's eldest son and heir, the film's equivalent to Goneril. Jinpachi Nezu as Ikimanji Jairo Masatori, Iwenzai Sai Langjing Hu, Haitora's second son, the film's equivalent to Regan, Daisuk Ryu as Ikimanji Saburo Neatori Iwenzai San Langjai Hu, Haitora's youngest son, the film's equivalent to Cordelia, Miko Harada as Lady Kid Feng no Feng, Kid no Kato Taro's wife, and the film's equivalent to Edmund. Yashiko Miyazaki as Lady Sumo no Fang, Su no Kata, Jairo's wife whose clan was destroyed by Haitora and the rough equivalent to Albany, husband to Goneril. Mansai Namira as Tsurumaru Hiwan, Su's brother who was blinded by Haitora. Hisashi Yagawa as Kurigane Tai, Jairo's chief advisor and military commander. Peter as Kayawami Kwangamai, Kayawami, the fool. Masayuki Yue as Harayama Tango Ping Shandan, who, Haitora's main advisor, roughly analogous to Kent. Kazuo Kato as Ikoma Keiju Shinju Kenjai Yu, an Ikemanji clan official. Jean Tazaki as Aeb Seiji Lingbu Jing Jai, a rival daimyo. Hitoshi Yuki as Fujimaki Nabu Hiro Tenguanzin Hong, another rival daimyo, based somewhat on the King of France from the play. Production Ran was Kurosawa's last epic film and by far his most expensive. At the time, its budget of $11 million made it the most expensive Japanese film in history leading to its distribution in 1985 exceeding the budget of $7.05 million for his previous film Cage Musha. It is a Japanese-French venture produced by Harold Ace, Nippon Herald Films and Greenwich Film Productions. Filming started in 1983. The 1400 uniforms and suits of armor used for the extras were designed by costume designer Emi Wada and Kurosawa, and were handmade by master tailors over more than two years. The film also used 200 horses. Kurosawa loved filming in lush and expansive locations, and most of Ran was shot amidst the mountains and plains of Mount Aso, Japan's largest active volcano. Kurosawa was granted permission to shoot at two of the country's most famous landmarks, the ancient castles at Kumamoto and Haimji. For the castle of Lady Su's family, he used the ruins of the custom constructed as Yusu Castle, made by Kurosawa's production crew near Mount Fuji. Haitora's third castle, which was burned to the ground, was a real building which Kurosawa built on the slopes of Mount Fuji. No miniatures were used for that segment, and Tatsuya Nakadai had to do the scene where Haitora flees the castle in one take. Kurosawa also filmed a scene that required an entire field to be sprayed gold, but cut it out of the final film during editing. The documentary AK shows the filming of the scene. Kurosawa often shot scenes with three cameras simultaneously, each using different lenses and angles. Many long shots were employed and very few close-ups. On several occasions, Kurosawa used static cameras and suddenly brought the action into frame, rather than using the camera to track the action. He also used jump cuts to progress certain scenes, changing the pace of the action for filmic effect. Akira Kurosawa's wife of 39 years, Yoko Yagachi, died during the production of the film. He halted filming for one day to mourn before resuming work. His regular recording engineer Fumio Yanaguchi also died late in production in January 1985. Development Kurosawa conceived of the idea that became Ran in the mid 1970s when he read a parable about the Sengoku period warlord Mori Matanari. Matanari was famous for having three sons, all incredibly loyal and talented. 
Kurosawa began imagining what would have happened had they been bad. Although the film eventually became heavily inspired by Shakespeare's play King Lear, Kurosawa became aware of the play only after he had started pre-planning. According to him, the stories of Mori Matnari and Lear merged in a way he was never fully able to explain. He wrote the script shortly after filming Darcy Uzala in 1975, and then let it sleep for seven years. During this time, he painted storyboards of every shot in the film later included with the screenplay and available on the Criterion Collection DVD release, and then continued searching for funding. Following his success with 1980's Cage Musha, which he sometimes called a dress rehearsal for Ran, Kurosawa was finally able to secure backing from French producer Serge Silberman. Kurosawa once said, Hi, Tora is me, and there is evidence in the film that Hi, Tora serves as a stand in for Kurosawa. Roger Ebert agrees, arguing that Ran may be as much about Kurosawa's life as Shakespeare's play. Ran was the final film of Kurosawa's third period, 1965 1985, a time where he had difficulty securing support for his pictures and was frequently forced to seek foreign financial backing. While he had directed over 20 films in the first two decades of his career, he directed just four in these two decades. After directing Red Beard 1965, Kurosawa discovered that he was considered old fashioned and did not work again for almost five years. He also found himself competing against television, which had reduced Japanese film audiences from a high of 1.1 billion in 1958 to under 200 million by 1975. In 1968, he was fired from the 20th century Fox epic Tora, Tora, Tora over what he described as creative differences, but others said was a perfectionism that bordered on insanity. Kurosawa tried to start an independent production group with three other directors, but his 1970 film Dodeska Den was a box office flop and bankrupted the company. Many of his younger rivals boasted that he was finished. A year later, unable to secure any domestic funding and plagued by ill health, Kurosawa attempted suicide by slashing his wrists. Though he survived, his misfortune continued to plague him until the late 1980s. Kurosawa was influenced by the William Shakespeare play King Lear and borrowed elements from it. Both depict an aging warlord, who decides to divide up his kingdom among his children. Hai Tora has three sons Taro, Gyro, and Saburo, who correspond to Lear's daughters Goneril, Regan, and Cordelia. In both, the warlord foolishly banishes anyone who disagrees with him as a matter of pride in Lear, it is the Earl of Kent and Cordelia. In Ran it is Tango and Saburo. The conflict in both is that two of the lord's children ultimately turn against him, while the third supports him, though Hytora's sons are far more ruthless than Goneril and Regan. Both King Lear and Ran end with the death of the entire family, including the Lord. There are some crucial differences between the two stories. King Lear is a play about undeserved suffering, and Lear himself is at worst a fool. Hytora, by contrast, has been a cruel warrior for most of his life a man who ruthlessly murdered men, women, and children to achieve his goals. In Ran, Lady Keed, Lady Sue, and Surumaru were all victims of High Tora, whereas in King Lear the character of Gloucester had his eyes gouged out by Lear's enemies, in Ran it was High Tora himself who gave the order to blind Tsurumaru. The role of the fool has been expanded into a major character Kayawami, and Lady Keed serves as the equivalent of Goneril, but is given a more complex and important character. Kurosawa was concerned that, that Shakespeare gave his characters no past, and he wanted to give his version of King Lear a history. The complex and variant etymology for the word Ran used as the title has been variously translated as chaos, rebellion, or revolt, or to mean disturbed or confused. Filming <laughs> The filming of Rand began in 1983. The development and conception of the filming of the war scenes in the film were influenced by Kurosawa's opinions on nuclear warfare. According to Michael Wilmington, Kurosawa told him that much of the film was a metaphor for nuclear warfare 
and the anxiety of the post-Hiroshima age. He believed that, despite all of the technological progress of the 20th century, all people had learned was how to kill each other more efficiently. In Rand, the vehicle for apocalyptic destruction is the Arquebus, an early firearm that was introduced to Japan in the 16th century. Arquebuses revolutionized samurai warfare. Kurosawa had already dealt with this theme in his previous film Cage Russia, in which the take to cavalry is destroyed by the arquebuses of the Oda and Takugawa clans. In Ran, the Battle of Hachiman Field is an illustration of this new kind of warfare. Saburo's arquebusiers annihilate Gyro's cavalry and drive off his infantry by engaging them from the woods, where the cavalry are unable to venture. Similarly, Taro and Saburo's assassination by a sniper also shows how individual heroes can be easily disposed of on a modern battlefield. Kurosawa also illustrates this new warfare with his camera. Instead of focusing on the warring armies, he frequently sets the focal plane beyond the action, so that in the film they appear as abstract entities. Casting The description of Hai Tora in the first script was originally based on Chishiro Mifu. However, the role was cast to Tetsuya Nakadai, an actor who had played several supporting and major characters in previous Kurosawa films, such as Shinjin and his double in Cage Musha. Other Kurosawa veterans in Ran were Masayuki Yui Tango, Jinpachi Nezu Jairo, and Daisuk Ryu Saburo, all of whom were in Cage Musha. Other veteran Kurosawa actors did not appear in Ran, but would go on to work with Kurosawa again such as Akira Taro Taro and Miko Harada Lady Keed in Dreams, and Hisashi Igawa Kuragain in both Dreams and Rhapsody in August. Kurosawa also hired two entertainers for lighter roles, transvestite singer-dancer Shinosuke Peter Ikata as High Taurus Fool Kayawami, and comedian-musician Hitoshi Yuki as rival warlord Nobuhiro Fujimaki. About 1,400 extras were employed. Acting style. While most of the characters in Ran are portrayed by conventional acting techniques, two performances are reminiscent of Japanese no theater. No is a form of Japanese traditional theater requiring highly trained actors and musicians where emotions are primarily conveyed by stylized conventional gestures. The heavy ghost like makeup worn by Tatsuya Nakadai's character, Hai Tora resembles the emotive masks worn by traditional no performers. The body language exhibited by the same character is also typical of no theater. The character of Lady Keed is also no influenced. The no treatment emphasizes the ruthless, passionate, and single-minded natures of these two characters. Music Craig Lysi, writing for Movie Music UK, commented on the strengths of the film soundtrack's composer for Kurosawa's purposes. Toru Teikmitsu was Japan's preeminent film score composer, and Kurosawa secured his involvement in 1976, during the project's early stages. Their initial conception of the score was to use Teikgo. As Lysi stated, Teikmitsu was guided in his efforts best summed up in the Japanese word ma, which suggests the incongruity of a void abounding with energy. He related, my music is like a garden, and I am the gardener. Listening to my music can be compared with walking through a garden and experiencing the changes in light, pattern, and texture. The Lysi summarized the second project, stating, the collaboration between Kurosawa and the temperamental Teikmitsu was rocky. Kurosawa constantly sent Teikmitsu notes, which only served to infuriate him so he frequently visited the set to gain a direct sensual experience. Teikmitsu actually resigned. Fortunately, producer Masato Hara, but seeing it now, this is 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 it now, is it now? Uh, it now. Is it I guess it's fine the way it is. Kurosawa originally had wanted the London Symphony Orchestra to perform the score for Ran, but upon meeting conductor Hiroyuki Iwaki of the Sapporo Symphony Orchestra, 
he engaged Iwaki and the orchestra to record it. Kurosawa had the orchestra play up to 40 takes of the music. The running time of the soundtrack is just over an hour and was re-released in 2016 after its original release in 1985 by Silva Screen Productions. It was produced by Reynold da Silva and David Stoner. Reception Box Office Released on June 1, 1985, it was modestly successful financially in Japan. It earned 2 yen 51, cent billion 12 dollars million in Japan, just enough to break even. In France, where it released on 18 September 1985. In the United States, where it released in December 1985, the film earned $2.3 million upon its initial release, and a 2000 re-release accumulated $337,112. Including later re-releases in 2010 and 2016, the film grossed $4 million, $750 in the United States and Canada. In Germany, where it released in 1986, the film sold 222,862 tickets, grossing an estimated EU or 735,447,114,912 dollars. The film also grossed 18,000 $692 in the United Kingdom and $16,215 in Portugal. This brings the film's total estimated gross to approximately $19,324,812 worldwide. Critical Reviews RAN was critically acclaimed upon its premiere. On review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, the film holds an approval rating of 96%, based on 89 reviews, and an average rating of 9-10. The website's critical consensus reads, Kira Kurosawa's sprawling, epic take on King Lear should be required viewing for fans of westerns, war movies, or period films in general. On Metacritic, the film has a weighted average score of 96 out of 100 based on 21 critics, indicating universal acclaim. Sean Levy of the Portland Oregonian wrote, In many respects, it's Kurosawa's most sumptuous film, a feast of color, motion, and sound, considering that its brethren include Cage Musha, Seven Samurai, and Dursu Uzala. The achievement is extraordinary. Writing for the Chicago Sun-Times, Roger Ebert stated, Ran is a great, glorious achievement. In the San Francisco Examiner, G. Allen Johnson stated, Kurosawa pulled out all the stops with Ran, his obsession with loyalty and his love of expressionistic film techniques allowed to roam freely, writing for the San Francisco Chronicle. Bob Graham stated, in Ran, the horrors of life are transformed by art into beauty. It is finally so Gene Siskel writing for the Chicago Tribune wrote, the physical scale of Ran is overwhelming. It's almost as if Kurosawa is saying to all the cassette buyers of America, in a play on Clint Eastwood's phrase, go ahead, ruin your night, wait to see my film on a small screen and cheek yourself out of what a movie can be. Vincent Canby writing for the New York Times stated, though big in physical scope and of a beauty, that suggests a kind of drunken, barbaric lyricism, Ran has the terrible logic and clarity of a morality tale seen in tight close-up of a myth that, while being utterly specific and particular in its time and place, remains ageless, infinitely adaptable. In 2000, it was inducted into Ebert's Great Movies list. John Simon of the National Review wrote, I find it as an almost total failure by a genius in his old age. Michael S. Ragow, writing for Salon in 2000, summarized the Shakespearean origins of the play, Kurosawa's Lear is a 16th century warlord who has three sons and a career studded with conquests. Kurosawa's genius is to tell his story so that every step suggests how wild and savage a journey it has been. At the start, this bold... In 2009, the film was voted at number 59 on the list of the greatest Japanese films of all time by Japanese film magazine Kainma Junpo. Accolades 
Ran was completed too late to be entered at Cannes and had its premiere at Japan's first Tokyo International Film Festival. Kurosawa skipped the film's premiere, angering many in the Japanese film industry. As a result, it was not submitted as Japan's entry for the Best Foreign Language Film category of the Oscars. Serge Silberman tried to get it nominated as a French co-production but failed. However, American director Sidney Lumet helped organize a campaign to have Kurosawa nominated as Best Director. Ran was nominated for Academy Awards for Art Direction, Cinematography, Costume Design, which it won in Kurosawa's direction. It was also nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Foreign Language Film. In Japan, Ran was conspicuously not nominated for Best Picture at the awards of the Japanese Academy. However, it won two prizes for Best Art Direction and Best Music Score, and received four other nominations for Best Cinematography, Best Lighting, Best Sound, and Best Supporting Actor Hitoshi Yuki, who played Saburo's patron, Lord Fujimaki. Ran won two awards from the British Academy of Film and Television Arts for Best Foreign Language Film and Best Makeup Artist, and was nominated for Best Cinematography, Best Costume Design, Best Production Design, and Best Screenplay Adapted. Despite its limited commercial success at the time of its release, the film's accolades have improved greatly, and it is now regarded as one of Kurosawa's masterpieces. Ran won Best Director and Best Foreign Film Awards from the National Board of Review, a Best Film Award, and a Best Cinematography Award, Taku Sato, Shoji Yuda, and Asakazu Nakai from the National Society of Film Critics, a Best Foreign Language Film Award from the New York Film Critics Circle, a Best Music Award, Toru Teikmitsu, in the British Film Institute's 2002 site and sound polls of the greatest films ever made, Ran ranked 41st in director's poll. In 2007, the film was ranked at number 28 by The Guardian's readers' poll on its list of 40 greatest foreign films of all time. The film was selected in BBC list of 100 greatest foreign language films by 209 critics of 43 countries around the world in 2018.